Hi everyone, it's Ray with the education team from Sweetie's Kit Club, and right now I'm going to share with you a start to finish layout. I don't really have anything planned other than I have this fabulous picture of Chrissy. We took this, or I didn't take it, but someone took it when we were at our retreat at the Paper Doll House this summer. It's so pretty. I thought it would go really well with the Autumn Rose kit, so I'm going to do my last layout of that picture. And it's somewhat loosely going to be based on this sketch, and I'm sorry, that's a crappy picture of that, but this is the sketch for Blue Fern Studios for November 2013. And I'm just going to try to replicate that a little bit. I have some other ideas, and I'm also going to use a competitor's piece of chipboard, Dusty Attic Clock. So some of my inspiration came from this piece of Blue Fern Studios chipboard, which is the one that's in the sketch right here. I was messing around with this. I wasn't sure what I was going to do. I put it through the embosser. I used a cuddle bug die, one that has a script. And then I used some copper Inca gold. And I also used some of the patinas. We got these in the October kit, the mediums add-on. And so I wanted to mess around with those. And it was pretty bright, so I used some Distress ink and walnut stain to go over it. And so it's got a lot of dimension to it in color and both in texture. And I'm going to use this piece. Sometimes I do that. I'm sure you guys do that too. You just try to mess around with some different mediums to see what you can do. So that's what it looks like on the back, although that doesn't really matter. Just to let you know. So I wanted to use some of my scraps because I've made a lot of projects with this kit and I want to use these up before I put it away and move on to the next kit. So I was looking and I want this piece to be my background because I think it goes well. And I wanted to use this as the frame right there just to kind of go along with that. And I am going to put this right here and I'm going to add some flowers. I'm not sure exactly what's going to happen. But I wanted to do a couple of different things. Right now, Kim has a challenge going on in our forums that is all about trying something new. And I didn't really pick an artist to do something new with, like I think she's suggesting. But I wanted to try some things that I normally don't do. And so what I thought is that I would not distress or make layers on my background. Like that's just going to be it. That's going to be the bottom layer. And I'm not going to distress it. I might ink the edges, but I'm not going to distress it. So that's new for me. And, let's see, sometimes my creative process takes a little while, so we hear that you like the start to finish layouts. Okay, so I want to do some of the background layers, so I'm going to do this, and I'll cut these up off camera. Something like that. I want to add some lace. This is some May Arts lace. I think we got some of this in a past kit a while back. And let's see if I want to incorporate some of these doilies and other things from the kit. But one of the other things that I wanted to try that I haven't really done before is I wanted to use some gesso for the background. Like where this is going to sit. I want this to kind of sit on some white. So I'm going to use this gesso with a sea sponge. And I'm just going to measure that out really quick and eyeball that. So I've got... Okay, and I'm actually going to take a pencil and mark this up. And I'll just kind of taper it off like that. Okay, so you won't really be able to see that. And so... I'm going to take my gesso and get started. Okay, so I think I'm done with the gesso. And now I'm going to add some of the Croco paint that we got in Blackberry in the Mediums kit. I want to kind of go in with that. I don't think it's going to crackle, but I like the color. So I want to put some of this, again, onto my makeshift craft sheet. And I'm going to take that same sea sponge 
and I think, let's see, let's try something different here. I'm going to put some of this Distress Glitter Rock Candy into that paint. I guess I'll need some more paint if I do that. Just for something different to do. So as this was drying, I decided that I would go ahead and ink the edges, and I used Frayed Burlap Distress Ink, and I used the blending tool, and while I was also waiting for it to dry, I went ahead and I looked back at the sketch, and I went ahead and did all of these layers back here, these strips. I just kind of eyeballed it and decided which ones I wanted to do and how many and I incorporated most of the colors from the kit to do that so I went ahead and distressed and inked those so those will be all ready to go but you can see on the sketch there are some chicken wire images right here they look like they're stamps or you could use a mask I'm going to use some stamps and these are stamps that we got in the October kit for Bow Bunny they were the texture fades and I'm going to use this chicken wire one Okay, now I'm just going to work on my layers, all of these strips in the background here. And I'll just start out, I'm going to fast forward through most of this because I'm basically just going to be mirroring this as much as I can, making that clock my center point there. And at this point I have all of my main elements on here and I'm just going to add some flowers and I'm going to add some cheesecloth of course, love cheesecloth. There's a little paper clip right there that I, that I would add, I have some Tim Holtz ones. Kind of cute. Okay, so I went through all of the little sayings and stuff in the kit, and I found this one, and I've decided that I'm going to cut out Life is Beautiful. Just Life is, and I'm going to put beautiful in larger font using some things from my stash, but as I was going through my stuff, I saw that I have some smaller roses, and so I'm going to add them here, and these did come in the main kit, not the main kit, in the flower add-on, so I just want to add these on there, and I did get this from Hobby Lobby, it's a Christmas bead treasure. And I think it would look good dropping down right there because in the sketch you can see that there's some little danglies. I'm only going to add one. There we go. And now I'm going to add the title, so I'm just going to cut this up. And I'm going to use these Webster's Pages alphabets in pink. So I want it to say beautiful. So I'm going to start backwards, and these are really pink, and so I'm actually going to take, let's see, not chalk ink, I will take some distress ink, and I'm actually just going to do this with the blending tool just to tone it down a little bit. I think I want it to go down here.
And this is all I have planned for the layout. So basically, I am finished as soon as I put this title on. And you'll see the finished product at the end in a picture. So I'm going to go ahead and turn off the camera. Um, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let us know how you like it. And be sure to go to swirlydoos.com and check out our forums. And check out our contest that we have going on. I know this is going to date this video. But starting December 1st, 2013, we have a 12 Days of Christmas contest. And it's going to be fun. We're going to have prizes every single day. And we're going to have tons of fun little things for you to do. So join us. And thanks for watching.